Unlikely that range sum up to a signal with only DC LFOs. LFOs with syncing enabled are synced to the loop of the track, such that the duration of one LFO cycle matches the loop duration of the track that calls sync. The other direction also works. The loop durations of the tracks with enabled syncing are synced to one LFO cycle by pressing the sync button of the LFO. Each parameter that can be LFO modulated has its own modulation range, which can be adjusted by bound A and bound B. On application start bound A and bound B are both set to the same initial value and when the LFO gets activated there will not be any modulation, because the modulation range is zero. Modulation starts when bound A and bound B have different values. You can choose between four common and a custom waveform. Note, when an LFO is controlling a grain parameter at high rate and at the same time density is at low rate, it may sound as if the LFO was running slowly or not running at all. For example, if the LFO rate is 20 Hz and density is 20 Hz, the LFO phase at the point it is looked up for the corresponding grain parameter will be the same for each new grain. Density should at least be 40 Hz or more in this case for satisfying results. LFO rate density ratio of 1 colon 2 or better 1 colon 4 in other words. For grain parameters the LFO phase is looked up sampled at relatively low intervals and a grain density with Nyquist lower than the LFO rate will produce LFO aliasing. LFO Waveform Editor The number of points is changed with segments. There are three options to connect points. Polynomial, linear, and rectangular. A short double tap on the editor window adjusts the positions of points according to quant. Waveform editor can be pinch zoomed. Screenshots. A focus stem. A feed it. Envelope followers. Envelope followers have two modes, peak. And Ms. MS stands for mean square and gives a smoother envelope. If add is active, the envelope will be added to the current value of the parameter that is set as target. If sub is active, it will be subtracted. When TRACK1 TRACK4 is set to a track different than the track on which the envelope follower is active. For performance reasons the control signal is the last computed buffer of that track 1 buffer delay, otherwise it is what arrives at the effect in. Effect. SSB mod is based on single sideband modulation. The effect is also called frequency shifter. 
It basically does the same as ring modulation. Carrier frequencies below audio rate result in a phasing effect, but only if there is some dry signal mixed with the wet signal. Vocoder blends the output of two tracks as does cross synthesis. It takes as input the computed output buffers. Granulation is already done at this point. The track whose sound is to be blended with is indicated as modulator. Advantage is taken of multi-threading, and the source track waits for the modulator track to pre-compute its part in the effect. If the modulator is inactive the effect is bypassed. Unlike cross synthesis the modulator track still produces output and its post gain can be reduced if this is undesired. In commercial vocoders there usually is a synth integrated which acts as source while the signal which is rooted into the vocoder often a voice acts as modulator. Brainstorm allows you to take any two sounds and do some granular manipulations before used as source or modulator. Reverb Convolution Reverb takes as impulse response what is inside the loop of the track from where it is to be loaded. 10 seconds maximum impulse response length. It should be noted that any sound can be tried as impulse response, not only ambiental resonances, but care has to be taken, because the result may be very loud, starting with a short impulse response or a stream of very short grains at low density as impulse should be a good practice. Compressor allows side chain compression. As with the envelope followers, if the track to take the control signal from is different than the track on which the compressor is active, the last computed output buffer of that track is taken as control signal, such that it has a delay of one buffer. Because of multi-threading the compressor cannot wait until output is ready on another track. Effects included in upgrade. We only mention the uncommon effects. It should be clear what the other effects do. Delay and the delays of multi-delay have a hold switch. When activated feedback is set to 1.0 and no more input is inserted into the delay lines, resulting in a loop of what is currently in the delay. Delay time can be synced to track loops and LFO cycles and vice versa as described above. Smooth determines interpolation time between internal delay buffers when delay time is changed. LPC vocoder is based on linear predictive coding. It computes a resonant filter from the modulator by LPC estimation and passes the source through that filter. Order determines the order of the filter. 
When white is active the so-called residual of the source is taken, which is obtained by LPC analysis, not the source as it is. The Internet has further information on LPC. Spectral filter tries to slow down spectral evolution by filtering each of the channels of successive FFTs taken from the signal with special resonant low pass filters. A shape can be drawn with the horizontal axis representing frequency and the vertical axis representing the sharpness of the filters. A higher curve means the filter smooths spectral variations more sharply. Spectral delay delays the spectrum. Ramp up means linearly increasing delay from low to high frequencies. Ramp down means linearly decreasing delay from low to high frequencies and dispersion applies a random to delay to each frequency. It is not possible to draw an arbitrary delay curve like spectral DELAY2, as spectral delay 1 is based on convolution and impulse responses that are computed from scratch. Spectral DELAY2 delays channels of successive FFTs taken from the signal. An arbitrary curve can be drawn with the horizontal axis representing frequency and the vertical axis representing delay. If follow is active individual FFT channels are delayed according to their magnitude. Vamps phase vocoder amplitudes. Selects the loudest channels of successive FFTs of the incoming signal to drive up to six band limited oscillators at the frequencies of the computed loudest channels. Smooth smooths rapid variations of channel indices in between successive FFTs spectral filter. Spectral DELAY2 and FAMPS work on the computed output buffer. The granulation part of the app is finished at the point these effects are invoked. As they are phase vocoder effects, the signal on which they operate has to be granulated and they do their own granulation internally. These effects introduce a delay of 256 samples. FM6 frequency modulation units each consisting of up to 6 operators. Chords can be built by adjusting semitones for each unit. Their frequency is changed in relation to CPS. Detune and FB affects beating. FB is rooted to the gain of a low pass filter by which the self modulation signal of some of the operators is filtered. D to Nell gives binaural beating if the app is in stereo mode. Index of modulation can be set as envelope follower target. With follow enabled pitches taken from detect. Detect does the same as the pitch detector from the grain effects.
with the difference that it takes as input the output buffer after granulation and before the mono effects instead of the unmodified source sound. Miscellaneous Audio buffer size, control rate, and latency Control rate depends on audio buffer size as all control parameters are read before each new audio buffer is computed. This is then sent to the DAC. This means that by reducing audio buffer size the application gets more responsive at the cost of slightly increased computational overhead. The smallest possible buffer size is different from device to device and it has to be tried to see which buffer size will work. On some devices there may be software dependent irregularities in the period the DAC requests new buffers which results in clipping. In such cases larger buffer sizes have to be used. Load. The bottom status bar shows the sum of time the audio engine has taken to provide new buffers in percentage of the total time there has been available to provide new buffers. The value is updated every 250 milliseconds. It should never get close to 100%, otherwise audio clipping will occur. As the value gives the sum over 250 milliseconds there may have been ec runs in between and the value can still indicate less than 100%. Performance the audio engine is multi-threaded, based on the fact that modern CPUs have various cores and work can be distributed. Each channel of each track runs in its own thread. If your CPU has various fast cores full load on all four tracks in stereo may be possible. Load should stay the same regardless if whether one or multiple tracks are active. It may help to deactivate internet and close other applications that run in the background and may temporarily require access to the CPU if you encounter glitches. RAM usage in raw state, when no audio data is loaded Grainstorm uses about 5.0 MB of RAM on a cell phone and about 7.0 MB on a 10-inch tablet. As all audio data is loaded into RAM for fast access, a 5-minute 1.6 BIT 48 kilohertz stereo file increases these values by about 60 MB. If Android is running low on memory it shuts down applications. If you encounter problems with large audio files like the app being randomly shut down close other applications to free memory or switch to mono mode. If nothing helps you will have to use shorter audio files. MIDI if you use a physical controller. Connected from the main menu under MIDI connection or for virtual controllers software choose Grainstorm as MIDI receiver from their preferences.
Learning mode is entered by pressing the small rect at the bottom of the left sidebar. Currently only note on events for the buttons and control change events for rotary control sliders are supported. Assignable controls will change color when learning mode is active. When touching any of these a pop-up window will open. On moving a slider or pressing a button on your controller or on receiving any MIDI event, it should indicate the channel and control value received. Press commit to assign. Some controllers send two note on events, one when a button gets pressed and one when a button gets released. There is an optional switch in the settings menu to handle these controllers. If you only upgrade the LFOs can be synced to an external MIDI clock signal. If it is active on an LFO at 